And welcome back, everyone, to Who Would Win. Today's Who Would Win. I'm the first official Who Would Win of the new year. Well, technically, Saturday's was, but that was the end of the week of Who Would Win leading into the new year. Now we're in actual first full standard week of January, which gives us comes to us from Susan Moore, who asked the question, who would have fight, Broly or Jiren? Now, I think you might, might have given me uh, Super Saiyan God Broly when you asked that. Because there's just no way to really speculate how strong Super Saiyan God Broly would be. <coughs> actually, there is actually a pretty clear way to figure that out. He Super Saiyan God Broly, no joke, would not be as strong as his, at least initially, upon its first transformation, would not be as strong as the Broly we got. That's because God Key is completely separate from your own, learning how to harness it. Now, if you absorb God into your base, like Broly eventually would, like Vegeta and Goku did, then, oh God Almighty, how strong he would be. But no, we'll be looking at just Broly as he is from Dragon Ball Super. Um, so what about you, Jiren? Jiren is the lackluster antagonist from the Tournament of Power uh, from Universe 11, if I'm not mistaken? <coughs> I say lackluster because he really doesn't have that much of a personality. I don't hate Jiren. Like, I say this a lot about a lot of things, a lot of movies, a lot of characters, whatever. But I don't hate on Jiren like a lot of people do. But he's not a very good character. But he's not supposed. he is supposed to be the wall. The wall you're supposed to get through. And as a wall, he's a very good wall. Uh, he's from an unknown species of alien that are modeled off of the gray aliens. And he is a, a superb fighter. Like, he is a extremely capable fighter, like a solid martial artist. Honestly, if it wasn't for his actual advantages over Goku power-wise, Goku probably is still the better fighter, but Jiren is a more the capable fighter. Uh, and his trademark is that he is a, he's the individual stronger than a god of destruction. Uh, he is capable of, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Master Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, now, whether or not he's stronger than any God of Destruction, I doubt that. Because we've seen God of Destructions are also not created equal. Uh, so, <clears throat> his power is so great that it shakes an infinite void. His power is so great that it, that he can literally just mollywop Goku. I like to use that term. Mollywop Goku. Going Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue times 20 without going full power. Without really putting that much effort into it. Uh... He's an individual whose power is definitely threatens the universe on a, as a whole if he really wanted to. Uh, he's got that, that trademark technique of it seems to be condensing the energy beam down and firing it. Excuse me, I have a bit of a cold right now. Um, not COVID, I always gotta say that. Not COVID, just a cold. Not COVID, COVID. Uh, not COVID, COVID. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, he's still immense fire. He's so powerful, he can literally just flex his eyes and just shoot power from his eyes and just destroy entire chunks of the battlefield that was made out of the hardest substance in the universe. Broly, on the other hand, is uh, an, autom an anom uh, anomaly in terms of science. He has a mutation, as far as we know, that gave him access to some power that is uh, that was unattainable for like centuries or millennia. Uh, even in his base form, he was capable of going toe to toe with Super Saiyan Vegeta or Super Saiyan Goku. In his wrathful form, he was capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with God form Vegeta and Goku. And even keep up with Super Saiyan Blue. And then he went into Super Saiyan and was completely dominating them until they had to fuse into Gogeta. And even then, he was able to hold out and then go into his Berserker final form, which still wasn't enough to beat Vegeta, but was literally broke reality as they fought. So... Uh, yeah, Broly's power is nuts. He's also an adapted fighter as well. He learns on the fly. He learns as he fights. <clears throat> his power seems to be connected a bit more to his emotions, although he still probably can get stronger than, uh, through Zenkai's, just like anyone else, any other Saiyan can. Uh, he can fire energy blasts through his mouth. He has that, uh, eraser cannon. Not eraser cannon. I can't remember what it's called. Basically, the little key ball that he feeds energy to and it grows bigger. Uh, he is completely savage in fight and combat, uh, can, and just completely unhinged. That is that is the downside of Broly's power is that he loses all sense of self going into it. So he really isn't um, he really isn't good in a one on he really isn't good in a one on one fight against someone his equal. 
uh, or at least comparable to him, because a smarter fighter can take advantage of him. And his power just keeps apparently climbing until he basically can't handle it anymore, and either blows up or just expends all his power. If these two were to meet in a fight, and I know there is some media where they, that happens. I don't know if it's superheroes or fighters, but that, there is media where it happens. They would definitely clash. Broly's power would be enough to actually put Jiren on in trouble. Like he, Jiren would be in trouble with Broly. He would, he would not take Broly like because he did not take Kale likely either. And Kale's no Broly. Let, let's be very clear. And when I think I've done that fight, but if I haven't, let's be very clear. Kale is no Broly. <clears throat> mm. Um. So, yeah, these two would fight, and like at first, Broly would probably start, you know, come at. Him. Assuming we we're gonna go through all the steps here, real quick, come at Broly, uh, Jiren, Jiren just bat him away like nothing. Just please, you know, Jiren, Broly would eventually get pissed off. Go, go, Akari, and they clash for a while. Still wouldn't be enough. If push comes to sub and he does turn into the Super Saiyan, which for this argument's sake of this fight, he would, uh, that's when Jiren starts to have a problem. That's when Jiren is actually now really struggling hard against this guy. Because they didn't he didn't break reality with Gogeta at Super Saiyan uh, uh, Wrath or uh, Berserk, if you will, legendary Super Saiyan. No, he broke reality at Super Saiyan. So that's when Jiren and him are now like pretty much on equal footing. The problem here is that Jiren is a much more composed, smarter fighter, so he can still, much like Gogeta was, so he can still land the appropriate hits to put him into the ground if he needs to. However, I do believe Broly is, unlike with Gogeta, who was both the more skilled and more powerful warrior at that point, Broly is more powerful, especially if he goes into his final state. So the question is, is Jiren capable of putting enough damage into Broly, or he either reverts to his natural state... Or he's just completely done. <sighs> it all depends on how much damage you think Broly can take and how much damage you think Jiren can dish out. For my money, if he's not able to put Jiren... Here's the thing. Early enough in the fight, I think Jiren wins pretty early in the fight, to be honest. Because I don't see him... I don't see Broly going Super Saiyan <clears throat> before Jiren knocks him out. If now, if Jir, if Broly has access to Super Saiyan, like he knows how to transform into it, it's a completely different fight. We're going by, by of Broly. We're going by the, what we see from Broly at Broly, and that's it, the fact that he is incapable of doing it consciously. At least by the end of the movie, it was all instinctual and his you know rage overtake him and all that is biology. That said, so there's two ways to look at it. A scenario where Broly knows how to uh, tap into his Super Saiyan transformations, or a scenario where Broly doesn't know how to do that consciously and has to do it subconsciously and have to have it triggered. If it's where he has to have it triggered, Jiren's going to beat him before he ever tri triggers it. If it's where he has to transform, but it still has the downside of him losing himself, I think Broly might still take that. I think Broly's sheer power at that point... Eclip it just overwhelms Jiren at that point. Uh, because I just don't think Jiren has the power to truly compete with them. At least from what we saw by the end of the Tournament of Power. Granted, he's got power to threaten the universe just like Broly does, but I don't think he has power to threaten reality. And yes, I'm fully aware there's... I even was looking for a thumbnail, or trying to look for a thumbnail, saw that cut shot of them from, I think, fighters, and, like, the screen was shattering, reality was shattering, they were clashing, but that's not canon or anything like that, so you can't do that. That's just for the game. <clears throat> so, while Jiren threatened, like, the, like, threatens the fabric of the universe, he doesn't th threaten fabric of reality. There's a difference between just the universe and reality itself. Broly was shattering reality itself with his power. Broly did, or Jiren was not. So I think, honestly, uh, Jiren trying to put him down just pisses him off more, and eventually they beam struggle and Broly wins the fight. Uh, I think that is what happens in a scenario where Broly is capable of accessing Super Saiyan through his own will. Uh, and if he is not, then Jiren wins the fight. So it is a 50-50 mashup. I guess you could call it a draw, depending on the circumstances. Uh... But that is my thoughts. I think Jiren, uh, Jiren for one of those scenarios and Broly for the other. What do you think, though? You think it's Broly the whole time or Jiren the whole time? Let me know in the comments below. 
But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.